backstage in the corridor at top of the pops with Keen and Mark from Westlife. Hi, boys. Uh, How you doing? You all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Another up-tempo song. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. More, yeah, more, yeah. Of the, more of the same coming up? Yeah, actually, our next single is up-tempo as well. Is it? <laughs> Funnily enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I think, uh, think we kind of got rid of the ballad thing for a while and we're coming with the up-tempo thing now a bit. And it seems to be working very well for us. Um, World of Our Own is doing really well. It's doing really well in airplay. The fans yeah. seem to love it. We love performing it, and uh, I think it just shows a different side to us. Did you watch Pop Idol? A small bit. What do you think about uh, Will releasing Evergreen, one of your songs? It's a great honour, actually. Um, you know, it's a great song. Um, I, d I just think that, you know, the fact that it's only been re that song has been released on an album, like, last November, and the fact that somebody's covering one of our songs already is kind of <laughs> quite cool. But, um, you know, I, I think uh, for anybody who's, who likes the song, it's sure to check out the Westlife version. So Will Young Pop Idol releases it as a single. Did you not want to release it yourself, though? Um, no, it was, that song was never a contender for one of our singles or whatever, um, and that's one of the reasons why we were totally fine with letting, because Simon Cowell does some stuff with us as well and been on it for our album, and that's why when he asked us, we were fine with giving it away, because we never, ever intended to put it out as a single. It was, um, it was one of the kind of last songs to get on the album, but it's just because of the style of the album, you know, yeah. nothing to do with the song, really, but... Has Simon Cowell ever been as mean to you as he is to those poor people? No, he's not able to. <laughs> he used to be as mean as that, but we kind of ended up just learning how to deal with him, you know, and, you know, I think we both have a little understanding going on right now. Now, you've been touring a lot, a lot. Do you ever get tired of it? Not really. Ever, um, really, at all. Our, our second world tour is actually just starting in, in April, so uh, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, it's a bit more relaxed, to be honest, than doing, than doing, like, promotional work, if you like, doing TV shows and magazines and all that. Because they're very, very long days. They can last up to 16 hours sometimes. Some Do you ever feel days. a bit overworked? Yeah, yeah sometimes. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the whole madness of it all actually, like, when, once you get into it or whatever, it can actually be quite, um, like, whatever. It can, it can be quite good driving, buzz. if you know what I mean. You can get a good buzz out of working really hard sometimes. But other times when it's just over the limit or whatever, you can just feel like going home or whatever, you know. But, People will be watching you now in uh, the Middle East and South Africa and Europe. So, uh, are you going to any of those places? And what can we s expect to see from the concert? And um, we've just actually come back from the Middle East. Uh, we were doing some promotional work out there in Asia and Japan. Or, sorry, not Middle East, but in Asia and Japan. Um, um, we're talking about we're talking about bringing our, our tour out there again. And um, this tour is very very different. Uh, it's in the round. The, mm. the stage is in the center of the arena, so it's quite a different show. So. Hopefully, you know, we can, we can bring it out there again. We were out there on our last World Tour, so hopefully we can do it again this time. Is there any song you've absolutely hated that you've done? We can't say one of them, and the other, <laughs> there is a few um, that we don't like whatsoever, but um, I, think, I think that's natural. Though. Yeah, no, it's natural. We can't like every, I mean, all of us can't like every song, if you know what I mean. Some songs went on there to keep people happy and stuff, you know, but I mean, at the end of the day, we do know that we're, they're all good pop songs, and we wouldn't let them on unless they were good pop songs, but, you know, there is some that we don't necessarily like that much whatsoever. Okay, Hated is maybe too strong, but one that you don't like as much as the, as the rest. You want us to name one? Yeah. No. <laughs> so that's No, the Westlife we're single. We're not going to have our own music. We're not going to Oh, by the way, someone wants you to get your natural hair colour. This is uh, Carmen Carenzo, who says, why couldn't you stop dyeing your hair and and have normal dark hair and blue eyes? A lethal combination. Hello. Yeah. You're blind. I just got rid of the blonde. And there's your answer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. See you later. Bye bye.